respected chairperson and learned audience assalamu alaikum good afternoon it's been a great honor for me to be invited to present this paper at the bsci annual scientific conference 2022 my topic is proper referral for cabg from intervention perspective this is an interesting but difficult proposition because it involves conflict of interest, we are surgeons talking about cardiac referral in a conference of cardiologists. So there is some conflict of interest. There is lack of authentic statistics and some degree of scientific ambiguity, which lead to sometimes no consensus. And I don't want to start another war because already we have the Ukraine war and if we start a war between the cardiologic and cardiac surgeons, then it will be another war. But fortunately, there are a very few cardiologists here. So what I'm worried now, if I criticize them, because they are not here. Whatever, let's proceed. I'm not going to play cricket, but I'm going to play cricket. So I'm going to play out of LBW. Why is it? Because umpire was one of the person from the batting side. Ebong batting side er umpire kokhono batsman ke LBW dibe na. So ar jebhabe out koruk LBW kora jeto na. And that is the problem when the operator or the player himself or herself becomes a judge. Which is in this case where the cardiologist has to decide whether the patient should go for surgery or for PCI or for medical treatment and himself or herself is one of the operators. So that's sometimes that decision might be tricky. Uh, here we can see three persons who are there. We'll uh, find out towards the end of my presentation, not now. Just look at the pictures. We'll talk about them towards the end of my presentation. So if we think about referrals, ideally CABG patients should be coming from the intervention cardiologist or, uh, the, or the cardiologist who performs coronary angiogram. But for various reasons, patients come from other sources as well. That includes non-interventional cardiologists, general physicians, even non-physician well-wishers suggest patients go to that surgeon. That, that's a kind of refer referral. Former patients is one of very good source of uh, patients. And unfortunately, some PIMS agents or Dalals in Bangla, they are also involved in referral things. And of course, finally, the self-referral. These days, patient goes to the internet, finds out what's best for him or her, and then decides about the fate. So referrals comes from various sources, but ideally, these should come from the intervention cardiologists. Since there is a mixed audience here, some, some of the whom might not be familiar with the procedures of cardiology, uh, CABG is actually a coronary artery, a narrowed portion, diseased coronary artery. Shekhane, Chobite Jerokom Dakadache, Kup Shukko Shelai Kore, at artery, Ottawa vein, end to side, or that artery by vein side, a end, a bong coronary side. এইভাবে একটা অ্যানাস্টোমোসিস করে দেওয়া হয় ছবি উপরে ছবি এবং নিচের ছবিতে সুন্দরভাবে দেখানো যাচ্ছে এবং এর মাধ্যমে যেই করোনারির আর্টারিগুলোতে ব্লাড সাপ্লাই কমে গিয়েছিল সেগুলোতে অ্যাডিশনাল নতুন রক্ত সরবরাহের ব্যবস্থা করা হয় দিস ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি সিএবিজি এন্ড এই অ্যাডিশনাল সোর্স মে কাম फ्रॉम डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम দা লিমা অর রিমা অর গ্যাস্ট্রোপেপ্লিক আর্টারি এই এই তিন ক্ষেত্রে এটা डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम আসতে পারে অর মে কাম फ्रॉम দা অ্যাওটা এই ছবিতে যেটা দেখানো হচ্ছে যে বিকজ দা আদার এন্ড অফ দ্যাট Conduit is connected to the ascending aorta root near the root. And the reason for cardiac revascularization, actually, there are basically two reasons. One, to improve the life expectancy, and the second is to comp quality of life. Manushir Ayu Barano, Ebong, Jibon Jatra, Manun Notokara, Bathauce, Shashkostoce, Kachkorta Parchina, Egulo Durkora. This is the reason for revascularization. And revascularization main methods include PCI and CAVG. Now, if you look back at the history, uh, first recorded CABG was performed by Robert Sage Goetz in New York on 2nd May 2000, 1960. He actually did a non sutured technique, a ring the tantalium ring the uh, bypass, cardiac bypass. Soviet surgeon 
Vasily Kolesov was a very famous surgeon, but we didn't know about him because of the iron curtain. In 1964, he was Soviet Union bypass the Soviet Union. Rene Febleroy, an Argentine surgeon, actually May 1967, he was the first one reverse saphenous venous graft, see saphenous venous graft start current, Rene Fabularo. She shonge jude amra PCR history ta dekhi, Warner Forsman, he was a surgeon, uh, German surgeon, tini uh, 1930s a first cardiac catheterization kore chen. He actually anesthetized himself his anticubital fossa, or je oti nurse chilo take bhul bujhaya, I mean, I don't know what to test, what to do, and then he passed a urinary catheter, showed a urinary catheter through his anticubital vein up to his heart. And that event, he immediately went to a CRM and recorded. That was the first ever cardiac catheterization, and it was a surgeon. Uh, then Grunzig did the first PCI with balloon angioplasty on 16 September 1977, and the first coronary stents were deployed in the 1986. There are several trials which compared the outcome of PCI and CAVG. One of those were freedom. I, I, I can show many. There are many, and there, and there are some controversies as well. But the major ones, one of those are freedom trial, which basically uh, depicts that for diabetic patients, CAVG has a much better outcome than PCI. Then if you go to the syntax trial, uh, here again, you can see if the syntax score is low, then the difference between outcome of difference between PCI and CAVG comes low. But as the syntax score goes higher, the difference goes higher. You can see the worms. But the second most important thing is, you see even with the low syntax score, uh, uh, during the first two years, PCI had an advantage. Then at the third year, the CAVG worm has crossed the PCI worm, and gradually it is improving. So with time, here we get data of five or six years, but the, the more the time passes, the outcome becomes better for CABG. There are very few studies comparing CABG and medical treatment. One of those is here. This is STITCH trial. Here again, it shows that this is not a big trial, just a small trial, but here it shows the superiority of CABG over medical therapy. Uh, you, may be, you may think that I am bust, but I want to quote something straight from the uh, 22nd, uh, 2021 SEC AHA ATS guidelines, uh, they're given 10 take home messages, and I have quoted three from those. Uh, number three message is for patients with significant left main disease, surgical revascularization is indicated to improve survival relative to that likely to be achieved with medical therapy. Okay, surgical revascularization. And if you go to message four, it says that surgical revascularization may be reasonable to improve survival. A survival benefit with percutaneous revascularization is uncertain. This is talking, they are talking about left main, left main cases. And number nine message is that revascularization decision in patients with diabetes and multivessel coronary heart disease are optimized by the use of a heart team approach. Patients with diabetes who have triple vessel disease should undergo surgical revascularization. Percutaneous inter cutaneous intervention may be considered if they are poor candidates for surgery. So these, these messages, uh, which are actually messages from cardiologists, not from the surgeons, they have clearly mentioned uh, various cases where CABG is superior. And here we can see, uh, it says in, in brief, scenario one or two vessel disease without proximal LED chara, baki shop. Uh, CABG is class one indication, but for PCI, uh, uh, they are not. And the last word about all these studies we have mentioned that uh, all these studies are primar primarily performed in patients with more severe CAD, and PCI was primarily performed in those with less severe. Second is all trials are co conducted by base, uh, patients without previous PCI. PCI per se may disturb the vasomotor functions or coronary possibility, adding adverse event in case of CABG. Most of the main investigations are conducted by cardiologists, and the industry has interest in favor of PCA, and their ethical issues are not that strong. Anyway, uh, just in summary, there are, some there are advantages of CABG. CABG allows direct inspection of the lesion. We can see the lesion exactly what's happening. Uh, CABG doesn't interfere with the vessel physiology, uh, and 
There are definitely there are advantages of PCI as well. It is convenient. It is easier to perform, user friendly. This quick actions, but convenience may be counterproductive. So all my message here is that both are very good methods, but they have to decide for which patient which is convenient. Uh, this is the graph showing the number of CABGs in Bangladesh. Actually, first CABGs was performed in 1990s. I'm, I'm sure Farooq Bhai and uh, Khalil Bhai were, were there probably at that time. And then 1993, 94 onwards, local surgeons started. First Lima graft was 1997 at NICBD. I'm sure both of them were there. I, I, I was also, uh, I witnessed also that operation. And then 2003 onwards, OPCAP started. And in 2019, uh, we performed about 6, 000, more than 6,500 cases. And we can see the graph is increasing. Here is another important point, the economic implication of CABG from Bangladesh perspective. This is a paper we published in 2020. I'd request all the surgeons and cardiologists to have a look at it because economic perspective is another very important aspect. Surg uh, clinically, we, have, we know both are very good, you can choose, but economic consideration in Bangladesh perspective is very important because in our country, we have to pay out of pocket expenditure and which is a reason for catastrophic uh, dis uh, disaster financial disaster. Bangladesh poverty is a big reason for the catastrophic health event. If you have a major health event, that, that family loses the large property. And you can see here, uh, in public hospitals, CABG is costs less than even one stent PCI. But even the most priv expensive private hospitals, CABG, becomes uh, at par with PCI with three stents and upwards. So if somebody, somebody needs uh, three or four stents, then CABG is cheaper, both in public and pri private hospitals. But in public hospitals, CABG is cheaper even with a single stent. This is a very important message because some of our patients come, they have no money. They have their last possession. So in those case, patients, we should be very careful. We should con consider clinical but also economic considerations. Uh, and a few words about an aggressive cardiologist. Uh, sometimes we get incomplete angiograms. The lima is not demonstrated, about which for us becomes difficult to decide. Uh, once upon a time, LVDP, LVGraphy was routine, but nowadays it never shows. And uh, here is one uh, case where because of the uh, subclavian stenosis, lima was jeopardized, and lima flow was jeopardized, and the patient had uh, difficulty. So, there are certain things you should be careful, should be careful about deciding the left hand interventions, multiple vessels, diabetics, diffuse lesions, preventing procedures, and you can see, for if, if you t put multiple stents in a patient, then it becomes difficult for the surgeon to find out a suitable place to put anastomosis. You can see the rings inside, and where the ring is there, you cannot put a graft. I'm being fast to, uh, to conclude the session because we have to have a team approach. We are friends, we are not enemies, so we have to work together, and everywhere there is a team approach. And as I said, it's the harmonious evaluation of advanced cardiac therapeutics. Together, everyone achieves more. So finally, uh, old lesson from surgeons. It is, it is old saying that a good surgeon knows how to operate, a better surgeon knows when to operate, but the best surgeon knows when not to operate. This is also true for intervention cardiologists. You have to know when to do, how to do, but you also have to do when not to do. <laughs> so, in con uh, towards conclusion, uh, Regarding proper referral to, of CABG, a global approach, approach should be uh, there, considering the clinical, ethical, economic, social, and other factors. That all should be taken into consideration. Not just that there's a patient has uh, this, and I, I decide. Secondly, uh, knowing your limitation is important. What I can do, what I cannot do, knowing that is very important. Counseling is very important. If we, if we counsel a patient, after book, Nobody will go for surgery. So you have to convince him if you find that this is better for the patient, the surgery is better. If you, if you find that uh, PCI is better, no problem, convince him. But if you find that surgery is better, you have to counsel the patient that way. Otherwise, no one would like to open his chest. This is a, this is a very important lesson for, for all of us. Uh, 
And coronary angiogram should be completed. As I said, there once most very frequently we find CAG done once once it is decided that there will there won't be a PCI. They don't bother to complete the. I, I'm not saying everyone, but it's not that insignificant as well. Even Lima ta pon to dekhan or projon mona karna. But showing Lima is very important. Otherwise, patient ta ke arik bar CAG korte hobe. Othoba same cardiologist er kache abar patha hobe, which is very embarrassing for all of us. And fi finally, let's make a formal or informal heart team. So I'm sure they bolle chilam. Three ke pori chhe di. Warner Forsman, jar kotha bolle chhi, who is the uh, surgeon who did the first cardiac catheterization. He invented cardiac catheterization. Second person is Andreas Grunzig. He is the first person to do the balloon angioplasty. And the third person is Rene Fabler, the Argentine surgeon who used the, used the saphenous graft. And the unfortunate event is Rene Fabler, he became bankrupt because of financial reasons and ultimately had to commit suicide. Very sad incidents. So unless we are careful about our financial sites and our patients' financial sites, we might end up catastrophe. So in conclusion, CAVG survival benefits uh, over other models of treatment, according to most studies. In Bangladesh, CAVG is cheaper than PCI in most instances. Economic consideration requires attention as catastrophic health event is a major cause of poverty in Bangladesh. The aggressive approach of some cardiologists should be should warrant caution and the heart team approach is not very common in bangladesh and should be more in practice thank you all for your patient hearing